Oh yeah, that's right. This is for PC, not for in car use. Oh, I have something that will do that. Welcome to the TechSource.TV. As you can see, you know, trying to put a game inside your car doesn't really work. So that's why you get a PC or a PS3 and you pick yourself up one of these G27 steering wheels. So today, the TechSource.TV is going to review the Logitech G27 steering wheel. So here you have it, the G27 steering wheel from Logitech, the, the best of the best steering wheels you can buy right now. A little pricey, but it's totally worth the money. Around $299 Canadian, um, or even sometimes $350, it goes $299 on sale. But check it out, we got the wheel, we got the shifter, we got the clutch pedal, man, we got everything. And we even got paddles if you like that kind of style too. Moving on to the wheel, check out the detail stainless steel the leather real leather at that look at that amazing attention to detail it feels great in your hand and there we go we got the led rev lights and moving on there's the buttons it's nice six buttons and on the back check it out what's that cable management oh yeah cable management is definitely a must with this wheel because we got four things plugging in and out of this thing so I like how Logitech actually put some attention to detail into the cable management and on top of that we also got some screw holes so we can mount this thing to something we can actually bolt stuff to it and here we go here it is all cabled up very neat very easy to use and it's actually pretty easy to do it and make it look neat best setup i think i've ever used now we're moving on to the pedals as you can see they're stainless steel and they're changeable but on top of that they got little rubber grips on them they all feel different they're all weighted different the gas pedal feels like a proper gas pedal the brake feels very stiff like the way a brake pedal should feel and a clutch pedal has proper weighted like the way a clutch pedal should feel um as you can see brake and the clutch are slightly raised over the gas pedal reason why better feel and you don't mix up your pedals um the spacing between the pedals is is actually really nice um i never felt myself mixing the pedals up but i wouldn't because i drive stick all the time um so then i like how it is all stainless steel as well <laughs> okay so we're moving on to the back as you can see more of these screw holes there's about six of them on the bottom of this and there's our carpet gripper and there's three of the holes there and there's three more holes in the bottom and as you can see they're all metal as well so it's really awesome and we're gonna move on to the carpet gripper here and the carpet gripper basically what it does is it digs into the carpet if, you, if you're not on carpet you can put it away so the shifter it's a six-speed shifter and it's a push it down and go into reverse all leather again real leather uh, we got the adjustments there to put it to your desk all the buttons ps3 style and then we got four little red buttons I like the, actually the red it's a nice accent to it uh, It'd be, it's actually better if they, if that the way the way they did it instead of just putting all black buttons but it does look nice and i like how the shifter looks too and it feels good in your hand i maybe would have liked something a little bit bigger but that's because i'm used to driving a car with stick so let's move on to driving impressions here we go we got dirt 2 i'm driving a ford uh mark 2 escort rear wheel drive it's a little handful of a car four cylinder twin cam motor pretty awesome car and uh, let's go on to what, what, what I feel, like how good does this wheel feel when you're actually using it? Well, the leather in your hands feels great, let alone, and then the pedals, the weighting is amazing. It gives you so much confidence when you're driving, when you're playing the games. It actually feels almost realistic, and the 900 degree turning is amazing. Um, it takes a bit to get used to, so I had it off during the filming of this, but um, when you do get used to it, it is really cool. And uh, also using this in Gran Turismo 5, and I also used it in Dirt 3. Uh, you can speed shift one and two, and I also use it in Race 07 and GTR Evolution. Uh, all great games to use it on, and it works flawlessly in all of them. Um, the shifter has very short, precise uh, throws. I did miss a couple throws. You will see me uh, missing them. There, there we go. I just missed one right now, and uh, but that's okay. Um, it takes time to get used to it, and it's a little different driving on your desk with a shifter, but um, it's actually pretty cool. Um, the rev lights are pretty cool, but some games don't fully support them. Dirt 2 doesn't really work, and Need for Speed I found doesn't really work all that well. Actually, at all. Um, now, um, the way the gears felt in the actual steering wheel when you turn it, there's no stupid noises like the noise that usually is cheap steering wheel. Really this one made none. It was dead silent, which was great. Um, the force feedback felt uh, amazing and very precise. Uh, again, like it's just a very well built unit. Uh, very. The attention detail is great, and if you do use the paddle shifters, um, they are really good. They have a very positive and a very good feeling to you, but I shift the stick because I'm a real man, so. Real good job. 
Thank you for watching the TechSource.tv's review of the Logitech G27 steering wheel. As you can see, it's a phenomenal wheel. I was very impressed by it. And uh, at $300, yes, it's a little expensive, but you're getting a whole lot of wheel for the money. Um, you're getting leather wrapped wheels, stainless steel, you're getting a leather wrapped shifter, uh, a great feeling shifter that doesn't feel plasticky at all. Uh, how the gears don't make any noise when you turn it, which is amazing. No other wheel does that. Not even the G25, which is the, what this one replaced. Um, now, for driver compatibility and game compatibility, I had no issues with any games I played besides the LED rev counter here not working 100% of the time, but that's because some programmers were probably lazy and didn't add in the LED count, uh, rev counter. And real racing sim games, that worked flawlessly in games like Dirt 2 and Dirt 3 and also all the Need for Speeds. It didn't really work perfectly, but it did work, but not the way the real sims uh, had this set up. So... Besides that, this is an amazing wheel. If you're looking into getting into racing sims and also you just want to play racing games and you want to play ones that are more simulative and you want a more realistic feel, this is what you should buy. Um, and only this. This is like the best wheel you can buy and I highly recommend this. So as always guys, please remember to rate thumbs up and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time on the TechSource.tv.